Hey guys, thanks for checking out the Beard Temple again. My name is Chris, and today we've got the final part of our Summer Beers Trilogy. Uh, we're gonna be looking at um, Pilsners, uh, the first lager that we're gonna be looking at. We did Hefeweizen in the first, and American um, fruit beers in the second episode, and then in the third, finally, Pilsners, which I have to say may of these three be my personal favorite. Um, a good Pilsner, uh, when you have one, uh, you can kind of understand why that style has uh, taken over the world. Um, it's also, I, I've made sure to have three craft beer Pilsners, three American Pilsners, um, which isn't terribly easy to find, um, you know, despite all that talk from the big guys about great Pilsner taste. Um, those beers are technically Pilsners. They're called American adjunct lagers, if you want to be uh, specific about it. But but these are actual Pilsners um, based off the uh, original Pilsner, Pilsner Urkel, if you guys have uh, heard of that, you, you very well may have, from uh, the town of Pilsen in Czechoslovakia. Um, so, um, basically, it's kind of interesting that there is a beer that they can trace it back to. Um, really one of the first um, bright, clear beers, and it kind of took the world by storm uh, almost immediately, and it stayed on top ever since. Um, so uh, one other note. So, so what I'm doing here is because I kind of had an, a showdown with the double IPA episode, but I, I kind of left off the East Coast, and that made me a little bit sad. I think I even mentioned it in that episode. Uh, but I've done it right here. I've come correct. And I've got East Coast, West Coast, and Midwest. So uh, I'm repping East Coast this time. Um, in fact, um, I'm repping it right uh, with victory from uh, just outside my hometown of Philadelphia. So big ups to Philly. Um, but we're gonna uh, start with uh, the Midwest because that's where I live now. Um, this is Capital Brewery. They are a lager, uh, mainly a lager brewery up um, from just outside of Madison, uh, Wisconsin. I think they are officially from a town made out of the name Middleton, uh, right next to Madison. So. Um, they do have some non-lager beers there, but um, they are mainly a lager brewery. And uh, getting back to what I just mentioned before, why aren't there a lot of craft lagers? Well, they're, they take longer to make, uh, and, and time is money. Where you can crank out an ale in a couple weeks, a lager is often gonna take you a couple months. So that same beer is gonna sit in a tank for a couple weeks or a couple months. And for um, you know brew pubs or, or smaller brewers, that's an easy decision to make. You doing all right there, Maxi? Yeah? Okay. Uh, he isn't sleeping this time, which uh, may actually be more loud. So let's uh, crack open the uh, Capital Pilsner. Screw top there. Okay, so most people know what to expect out of a Pilsner. You want it to be bright, golden, clear, fairly effervescent, and this is certainly all of those things. Okay, so we're getting um, a lemony character on here. Getting a nice kind of uh, herbaceous, bright lemon. Nice malt backbone. The Pilsners are, are gonna be more subtle beers. But you're definitely getting those hops there on the nose. Very smooth beer, very clean. You got the hop. So when you first take a sip, first you're getting a bit of that malt, just a hint, very clean. Then you're getting, starting to get some of those, I don't know if they're, they're probably not German uh, hops, but it's that same character of German hop. You're getting that herbaceous quality, the, the, the slight tint towards citrus, uh, but maybe a bit lemony, something like that. And then it finishes off with a nice clean bitterness, not overpowering, um, good effervescence allows you to kind of 
want to take another sip, certainly something that um, you're going to want to take nice big sips out of. Um, yeah, absolutely no flaws to this beer, uh, which is another reason people don't stay away from uh, lagers. A lot of times, you know, there's nothing to hide behind. You can't hide behind a ton of malt or a ton of um, hops, just like huge, big, over-the-top hops. Can't really do that here. I mean, you're, you're, every flaw is going to be exposed with a lager, and there aren't any here. This is, uh, this is a good beer. I'm going to go uh, 91 on this for the Capital Pilsner. Good showing from the guys up in Middleton. All right. Okay. The dog was driving me crazy. I needed to get him out of there. So, sorry, Max, but you are relegated to the bedroom. All right. The next one, um, since we're Everybody knows when you're tasting geographically, you start from the center of the country you're tasting from, and then you move west to east. Um, that's just, it's common, but sometimes people don't know. Um, all right, Lagunitas Pills. Um, awesome brewery out in uh, California, California uh, Petaluma, California. Um, they make um, m mostly ales, but they do a Czech-style pilsner called uh, Lagunitas Pils. So I'll uh, give this a taste now. All right. So, more color to this one, all right? Or the other one was, was um, very kind of a bright yellow, uh, a sunny yellow. This is more, uh, got a little more orange and a little more, uh, not quite amber, but it's starting to head in that direction. Um, and uh, you're gonna get a little bit more in that in the Czech style Pilsners. Um, the, the capital, I believe, is a German style Pils. Um, yeah, Gartenbrau, so that makes me think it's a German Pils, which are uh, typically uh, a little less. Uh, malt heavy on them, a little lighter in body overall. And you can certainly smell, there's more malt here. There's more of a malt character. Um, I'm getting, sorry to stick my nose way, way in there, but I'm getting um, some, some, some caramel notes in there, very light, like a, a toasty character, but but even going beyond that, there's a, maybe even a hint of fruit, which you typically don't want to get in a Pilsner, but I mean, I'm talking subtle and maybe like these kind of orangey flavors. More malt body, more sweetness. Um, it's counterbalanced well in the end um, by the bitterness, so it, it plays off that sweetness well to still give it an overall clean flavor to it, but there's still more, much more residual sweetness. You've got the malt, but as I said, I was anticipating some of that biscuity flavor. I'm not quite getting that, um, which I really love from, from Bohemian Pilsners. Um, a uh, nice kind of toasty flavor, not quite biscuity, but. And there is that, I mean, I keep saying kind of orangey, but like a marmalade -y flavor almost. That could be the hops coming into play as well. Um, good beer, I like it. Um, it's not quite as crisp and clean as the pills from Capital, but uh, I will give this beer, um, I'm gonna go a little lower, I'm gonna go 89 for the Lagunitas Pills. So, so far we've got the Midwest guys, but we've still got a pretty venerable challenger from the Lagunitas Brewery in Downingtown, Pennsylvania, just outside of um, Philadelphia my hometown where I was born and raised. And this is their Prima Pils. Um, pretty well-known uh, brewery, Victory. You can get uh, pretty widely distributed around the country. So um, there's a good chance you guys out there are able to get it. And look at that. Just a great golden, a hint dark, right in between the last two. Really a, a, a nice looking beer there. 
Wow, a lot more hop character than either of these. You're getting a lot of that herbaceous flavor, a lot of the, uh, almost I guess like sagey and oregano, but, but, but bright as well. Maybe some grass. By far, the hoppiest beer of the bunch. The most bitter beer of the bunch as well. But it plays well. So let me let me go through what I'm tasting. Okay. The moment you put it in your mouth, you're getting the hops right in your face. The the taste of the hops is following the ar aromatics herbaceous, bright, um, grassy, and it, it, it fills your mouth up with that flavor. And then as it dies down, that hop a little bit, you start getting that malt coming forward in the mid palate. And then right as it starts to come in, it, it just shows itself a little bit and then it fades away and you're getting a nice clean bitterness that's gradually kind of builds up. Um, your ma my mouth now has a clean bitterness in it and a little bit of each element as well. I can still tell the hops are in there and I can still get a little bit of that malt. Very, very well put together beer. I am very impressed with the Victory Prima Pills. Um, it might be a little too hoppy for some of you guys out there who um, shy away from hoppy beers and it might be a little too bitter for some people as well. But if that doesn't scare you, um, I mean, we're nowhere near a, a, an American Pale Ale or an IPA or anything like that. Um, but, uh, but you know, th there's just more hop flavor here. Uh, great beer, I really, really like this beer. I'm gonna go um, 93 uh, for the Victory Prima Pills and a, a clear winner uh, here. So, uh, East Coast, reppin', go fills, um, and then, you know, Past, present, future? Oh, uh, <laughs> probably not. But uh, thanks, guys. Hope you like the summer series that we did, um, and the uh, the kind of the East Coast, West Coast, Mid Coast, No Coast, whatever you want to call it. Um, Smackdown. Uh, check us out again. Keep those reviews coming in. You guys are awesome, and I, I can't uh, just really can't even express obviously in words uh, how much I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Um, check us out on Facebook and on our site. Leave comments on our website. I'd love to know what you guys think. I'd love to know what other Pilsners um, you think could have, you know, kicked the crap out of the uh, Victory Prima Pills. Let me know. Males here. Um, so yeah, um, please let me know. Um, the, beer is all about what you guys think, what each individual person thinks. This is one person's opinion. Um, but what do you guys think? Let me know. Uh, leave a comment on the website or on Facebook. Um, and that's about it. Thanks, guys. See you later.